The internet can be a dangerous place. Did you know that 55% of online users have been infected with spyware? That a new virus is created every five minutes? That billions of spam messages are sent every year? And that people often lose money through identity theft? But thankfully, there are some really easy steps we can take to protect our computers and our information. Most computers have antivirus software. Remember, this needs to be kept up to date and don't be tempted to turn it off. If you don't have antivirus software, install it immediately. It often comes bundled with a firewall, another absolute essential. Studies have shown that an unprotected PC can be attacked aggressively within 15 seconds of being attached to the public internet. So remember, you will be infected if you don't take precautions. Don't tell anyone your password, and choose one that's not easy to guess, but is easy to remember. People take confidential information home on laptops, USB sticks, PDAs and other devices. Did you know that you're responsible for that information if it gets lost? And remember, confidential information is any information from which you can identify a specific individual. Even something like hair colour needs protecting if it's stored alongside a person's name. Make sure you don't take this kind of information out of the office unless you really need to, and even then make sure it's encrypted. Some websites ask you to give personal information, but please don't provide any details unless you have to, and make sure that the site is legitimate. Also be careful in giving away personal information on social networking sites like MySpace and Facebook. Remember to check privacy settings in your profile to limit what others can see. We all get tired of spam, but it's amazing that some people still fall for it. If an email offer sounds too good to be true, then it almost certainly is. If you get an email from an address you don't recognise, delete it immediately and never open any attachments. Another thing to watch out for are emails pretending to be from a bank asking you to confirm your details on a fake website. Delete these emails straight away. Your bank already knows your name and account details and doesn't need to know them again. If you have to enter confidential details, make sure that the website is secure by looking for the padlock symbol on your browser. Online security is simple. Remember, install antivirus software and a personal firewall if you haven't got it already. Manage your passwords sensibly. Be careful when you publish your personal details. And delete any suspicious emails. The internet can be a dangerous place, but if you use your common sense and follow our guidelines, it doesn't have to be.